Freshman Agriculture Night at Oxville Nationals getting set uh, for tonight's uh, podium finish here. Donna Schatz gets the win. Chase Randall second. Sheldon Hottenshell comes in third tonight. Uh, Donna, congratulations getting the win tonight. Walk us through those last couple laps. Had a good battle going on for a while there with Chase, but you pulled out on top there. Uh, yeah, the restart. You just got to go where they're not. And, you know, I was behind the 55, and I fully expect him to go down to the bottom there because I'm sure he knew I was going to be down there. And just, you know, we got a spot there and it just kept moving around. It's just um, the yellow wouldn't have come out. It might have been a different story, but um, the yellow came out. So um, it's a pretty nasty crash, at least what I can see from the replay. I think Sheldon said the same thing. So you hate to see that, but it does happen. Donnie, unofficially officially high point, man. How do you think that's going to stack up? 473, somewhere in there. Where do you think that puts you? We kind of talked about a victory lane being a top four spot, maybe not a full spot. Yeah, I, yeah, I think um, I just wanted to get locked in the show. Um, that, that's kind of the goal. You know, once you get yourself in a position where you get qualified, you, you can kind of move them goalposts. Um, I don't know if being on the front is where a guy wants to be anymore. Um, you know, I think second row, third row, I think we're going to be pretty solid there. But it's all going to depend on what happens tomorrow night in those heat races. I mean, a lot of good cars didn't make through the heat races tonight. You see David had trouble. Um, you know, quite a few guys did, and there was good cars that were in the top ten qualifying. I don't even think that made the race. So that's going to, you know, change that dynamic up a little bit. Um, we'll do that. I hope we're in the second row, third row, somewhere in there. But if not, um, I think we'll be solidly in the show anyway. Donnie, obviously, uh, you take the lead there, and then Chase came back on you. Were you, were you surprised he came back on you like that? And how did you have to set up, kind of set him up from there? No, I, I, I didn't really have any rhythm going when I got got to him and got past him. I, you know, kind of went for it and really thought he'd like look at me as like a senior citizen and give me a pass, but he didn't. So um, he went right back on by, and uh, that, that's cool to see. I mean, that's why we're here. That's why this is the Knoxville Nationals. That's why. This is where you know the best come, so um, it's good. To, it's good to see that, and he's obviously got a pretty bright future ahead of him. And, and um, you know, I just had to settle myself back down there a little bit, and uh, really could go wherever on the racetrack. Don't yeah, Donnie, how, how surprised uh, do you feel? Surprised to come out of here tonight with a little win? It's been obviously a while since you won on a preliminary night, but also you talked earlier today about you know not being quite where you wanted to be at going into into the races. We, we haven't been consistent. Um, there's no surprise in that. You can look on paper and see that. Um, you know, normal nights were a, a struggle being inside the top 10. Um, just, it's the way it is. Uh, racing's pretty tough right now. We, sometimes we get ourselves back in the corner with some of the things that we have to do and, and can't do. And um, But when you come here, you know, the bigger tracks seem to be where we're, we have a little bit better, uh, a little bit better situation with that, obviously. You know, last year this time, uh, Ron and Scuba and all the guys uh, came up with a, a good combination to come here. And we tried that combination here in April or June, whenever we were here, and it just wasn't very good. So here we are. Um, you know, it's the middle of summer when the racetrack starts to slow down a little bit, and that seems to be when we, we can be a little bit better. So um, surprised? No. Uh, maybe a little bit. Uh, you know, I feel good that we're in a, in a good spot because it's – it's hard to dig out of uh, bad spots anymore. Like you just take, for instance, the two car. He'll have to come back Friday, obviously, and you know things happen, and it's uh, it's it's hard to do anymore. It's really hard to do with as many good cars as there are. Chase, you just uh, battled Donnie Shot down the wire at the Nashville Nationals. How do you feel? Um, I mean, I feel pretty good about it. I feel like um, it's hard to be mad about it. I'm finishing second like that after being so close, but. Um, I'm really proud of it and how kind of how we did and how the team kind of made the right decisions throughout the night to, to set us up and put ourselves in position to be that close. Um, and it kind of just shows to see how much hard work they've been putting in to get better each and every week. Um, running here, we've had some really good speed here um, this whole year. And um, to be you know, running up front in our prelim night at the Knoxville Nationals, my first try is uh, pretty cool. So um, I'm excited to see what we can do um, hopefully on Saturday and you know where we end up. Sheldon, uh, they ended up 12 in points after that qualifying run. How uh, unbelievable was that, I guess? Yeah, I'll take that for sure. Uh, yeah, kind of after a qualifying run like that, uh, you know, we talked and, and figured we had to get on this podium to, to even get close. So uh, kind of accomplished that goal, and, and uh, yeah, we'll just keep pushing. I feel like every year, um, you know, I kind of come uh, from pretty deep, either on Friday or, or, you know, don't do it the easy way for sure.
On the left over here, guys. Chase, you talk about those last couple laps from your perspective, battling with Donnie there. You, know, you kind of got the lead you know, from Blake on the restart, and then all of a sudden here comes Donnie. Yeah, it was you know, definitely um, you know, tricky as soon as he got to me. I didn't really expect him um, to be on the bottom like that. Uh, I kind of struggled down there the first few laps. I knew it was, it was super greasy off the two, kind of like um, how the track was last year. I feel like it was, you know, it was really hard to roll the bottom, and it seemed like it came in late. So um, maybe it was a bad move on my part, not kind of anticipating it or seeing it down there um, to be there at the end. But I felt like you know I was doing pretty well, you know, before the before the red came out. So I kind of was just sticking to what I was doing, and then um, it just kind of hurt me because it kind of bunched everybody up and you know gave them you know another opportunity. But um, you know it's definitely something to learn from, and you know taking Mike for Saturday. Donnie, uh, obviously you said you mentioned David having problems and other cars having problems. What's it? You've been around a long time doing this. What's it like going this qualifying night and kind of juggling the pressure? I mean, it seems like there's more pressure tonight than even Saturday, especially if you're locked in. But What's this night like and, and trying to match or trying to juggle the aggressiveness with just trying to get it in the show? I mean, I wish I could describe it to you. Um, it's pretty, it's pretty gut-wrenching. I can tell you, you know, you don't, like I've, I've told everybody that's around me, you know, a couple days leading up to Knoxville, I'm not mad at you. I just don't really want to talk to you. <laughs> um, you just kind of keep yourself in a, in a mental zone. Um, you, you think about it. You think about scenarios. You think about what if this, what if that. It's just, um, at least that's what I do. Um, you, you think of what are you going to do when you get to the first turn. Do you want to be behind somebody? Do you want to you know, fill the gap? And I know you can't, you, you can't really just second guess it, but you got to play them scenarios through your mind um, to, to kind of know what you're going to do. And then you have to be able to do it when it happens. So. That's what it's all about is the heat races. If you don't get through the heat races, um, man, it makes a it makes a tough long week for you. And um, in years past, we never had that Friday program that would allow four guys to get in at the back of the A. They just take 20 guys and lock them in. So if you didn't have a good night, you didn't get a second chance to come back on Friday. Now they get that opportunity, so it's pretty. Um, it's a good opportunity for four cars that from the next two nights tonight and tomorrow night that, that didn't have a very good run. Time for one more needed front. Donnie, what do you think of the uh, chaos that Aaron and David are already uh, clinched into around that Friday show? I, can you say that again? What do you think of Aaron and David having to run Friday and uh, how tough that um, that entire day is going to be? Uh, it's just the way it goes. It's racing. Um, you know, I, it's going to happen. I don't know. can't point the finger at anyone. You, there's nothing you can do about it. Um, everybody came out of it safe, I guess, is good. I, um, when I seen David's crash, I that thing hit the wall a ton. I'm surprised he was able to fix it and resume the rest of the night. And I guess they, they did say it broke the frame in a couple spots, but they made it work. I mean, he, he tried to dig out the best he could. That's all you can do. Um, that mentality might win him a championship, and I'm sure that's what they're they're gunning for. So you, you have to have that mentality to just go all the time. And um, they did. Uh, it didn't quite work, but man, it could have happened to any one of us. And um, just the nature of the beast. Okay, guys.